Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Patrick with Stacking Layers. Today's video, I'm gonna go over the new BQ Microprobe. This is BQ's new version of the BL Touch, CR Touch, probing little guy, um, with a, a twist. Um, not, not too much of a twist, but with some cool little uh, upgrades, I guess it would be. First thing is the size. There's one right there. Look at how tiny this thing is. I'm, I'll open up this in a second to know. But these things are tiny. They they live up to the name Microprobe. But my first thing I wanted to go over is the accuracy. This thing seems to be living up to its claim so far. On the box here, it's claiming that it gets a 0 0.001 millimeter standard deviation up to 24 degrees and uh, 0 0.003 standard deviation up to 60 degrees. So far, it's been doing that, if not better. Um, my first test that I did, I actually did a back-to-back -back 10 probe test and I got a hundred percent perfect score, meaning that every single probe in the 10 in a row was identical. There was no variance. So it said 0 0.000 deviation. There was, <laughs> it was exactly the same. I did it again. I got the exact same results. I don't know how, but I did. Um, I did have some people telling me that it was because my machine is set to 16 steps and yada, yada, but Really, I got lucky. I haven't been able to do that again, but I am on average getting a 0 0.0015 or so is my is my true average that I'm getting with these things. Um, the worst that I have been able to get, and that was with like bumping up the micro steps and probing over 50 times. I think I did, yeah, it was a 55 probe uh, test and I bumped up the speed so it would probe really fast up and down and higher, longer uh, travel and everything. So really trying to make it work you know, to, to get a bad result. And the worst I was able to get was like a 0 0.0028, I think it was, was the highest number that I got. So perfect, right? I mean, think about it. We're printing at 0 0.2 layer height on average. Um, you know, with this this new nozzle that, or this hot end that I've changed onto this machine, that's a 0 0.06 nozzle. So I'm gonna be doing like 0 0.3 or better on those. So a 0 0.003 deviation is is nothing. It's, it's, you know, we're talking about splitting hairs here. So accuracy on this thing has been really good um, to the point where I've bought a couple of more. I'm going to be changing out. I have my other machine with the BL Touch. I'm going to be putting this on it because I just like it. I think it's cool. It looks cool too. It's really stealthy. So let's open that up so you can see. Cool little packaging too. It's got like a nice retail package. I was surprised to see that. Um, standard instructions, information, size, um, how to wire. I'm going to go over wiring thing too. Um, so simple short wire and then a longer, I think it's like a meter and a half wire. You got screws and nuts to fasten it and you got the probe. There it is. Like I said, it is tiny. Obviously you can see that one in the background, but you know, to see it in person, it looks like it came with some dust too. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, it, it's tiny. Look at this thing. I'll put a, I, I didn't have a calibration cube, so my kids, took off with them also. I took one of the Lego bricks. <laughs> so there it is, a 4.2 Lego brick next to the BL Touch, or sorry, the BQ Micro Probe. As you can see, it's small. We'll do it side profile. It's a little bit thicker because of the, the, the plug and stuff, but it's got a cool little little design. It's almost like a, it looks kind of like a Cybertruck actually, <laughs> now that I think about it. Look at that. It looks like, it, look, you got the windshield. It totally looks like a Cybertruck. That's funny. The, the Tesla Cybertruck thing, if you guys aren't familiar with that. But anyways, yeah. Um, but yeah, really cool size. And what I think is nice about how tiny it is, I think it's like maybe two thirds the size of a BL Touch, which BL Touch really, I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not large at all, but this is just substantially smaller. I think my BL Touch right now is mounted up here for it to probe. So you can see how, how big of a difference where this one is mounted. So, I mean, that's really where the advantage comes. You can mount this thing anywhere. You can really get it hidden. I think I saw somebody make a um, a stealth burner mount to where it was actually inside, somehow like encased inside, so it would just shoot out the little probe and, and do its thing. Here, I'm gonna break this. I keep dropping it. Um, but yeah, um, the probing, the way it probes, and I think what makes the accuracy, it's it's using a clicky uh, style. So it's actually instead of using a Hall effect sensor or something like that, it's it, when it deploys, it actually has a, a hard switch. Um, so it, it's getting a, an immediate, as soon as it touches, it's triggered. It doesn't have to bounce like the BL Touch and CR Touch do. It, it, as you'll see, I'll, I'll probe with this one in a minute here. Um, but it's, it's 
a true clicky switch. So it's more reminiscent to like Voron's clicky switch um, upgrade. So I think that's what's really giving it the accuracy. Um, yeah, another thing I wanted to point out, B, uh, BQ has gone and labeled. It might be difficult to see. I don't know, will it focus on there? They've labeled the pins. And I wanna point that out because of the fact that I've seen so many people um, having problems with these, um, not these probes specifically, but, but these BL touches and things, um, frying their boards, frying the probes, having so much trouble trying to get these things installed. Um, and I wanted to point that out because here they're labeled, but one thing I want to point out, and this is probably going to save a lot of people if you watch this video, if if you already know, pass this information on to new people, if you see, all of these probes, this is like a public service announcement, all of these probes are wired exactly the same. You have ground, 5 volt, servo control, ground again, and the probe or Z-min or sense pin. So the pin that tells that it's been probed. Again, ground, five volt, servo, ground again, and probe. All of them are like that. Doesn't matter what color the wires are, all of them are like that. And I mentioned about the color of the wires because BQ has done something really nice, such a simple, easy thing. But the color scheme follows that ground, for black, uh, black for ground, so you got two grounds there, red for 5 volt, yellow for set servo control, which is a pretty common color on servos, and white for the sense pin. CR, yeah, the CR touch, Creality, I don't know what they're thinking, but I've seen so many people having struggles um, getting their things and actually burning the boards out. And I look at the wiring, they have black on the 5 volt, red on one of the grounds, so you got like a, I think it's like blue and and red for both ground and then a black on the on the five volt. I mean, it, it's no wonder people are burning out their boards. You get colors like that. You know, even Ant C Labs, they created the BL Touch. Their their colors. I mean, they're a little bit more standard color schemes, but it's like brown, red, yellow, and then black and white. So it's a lot, it's closer, um, and it's actually pretty common for servos where they use the brown, red, and yellow. Um, but BL, uh, BQ, I think, did a really good thing by making these. This is going to help a lot of people save their machines, make it easy for install, I think. That's, that's my personal opinion, but this makes it so much more straightforward. You don't have to guess what these things are doing. Um, of course, you shouldn't anyways. You should always reference the pinouts on both the board and the, and the device that you're installing, just so you know. Assume all the wires are black, you know? But for, for people that are new in, in getting into this stuff, that's going to really be helpful. No more burnt boards, I hope. But... If you do have, need any help, definitely shoot me a, a message and I'll, I'll do my best. So yeah, let's let's probe this so you can see what I'm talking about with this clicky style. Um, so I'll zoom in here. Uh, I'm gonna do a home. Actually, it's gonna go off camera, of course, because I'm gonna have to do a home all. So let's get it homed out. <clears throat> and I want you to pay attention to to the pin because this is, this kind of surprised me. I wasn't sure what was going on when I first did it. Watch. See that immediately on contact. There's no detent. The pin doesn't bounce like like a BL Touch will. Um, if you have a BL Touch, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Or if you watch videos on them, I'll zoom in even more so you can see. So that it's home the Z. Oops. Yeah. One more time. It's it's spot on. It's as soon as it touches, so the advantage that's going to give you is you're not going to have to have a huge travel zone. You can have like a one millimeter difference from your your nozzle from the extended probe, as opposed to the required uh, what was it like? Uh, I think it's like two and a half millimeters minimum or something like that. that the BL touch has to be in order for it to have enough room to bounce. Um, so this is another nice nice advantage in my opinion. I think it's really really great. Um, what do you guys think? I, I need to cut this video because I'm always rambling on, but I, I really enjoy this. Like I said, I bought more so I can install them on my other machines. Um, is this something like that you guys would like to see? If it's something that you want to get, need help installing one, let me know. <laughs> uh, any any comments, let me know down, down in the comment section. I want to know what you guys think about this thing. Um, personally, you can probably tell I'm impressed. Um, yeah, the BL Touch Microprobe. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it was informative. Again, leave me any comments, uh, questions down in the down below. And until next time, thanks for watching. Happy printing.